What's up, beautiful growers? We're back with another video. This time, we're giving you all of the hottest new products from Organic Grow. You ain't ready. I'm about to show you some fun new stuff. And, bonus, we're gonna show you how to put in a fun pony using all of these products. I got my going out dress on, I ain't going nowhere, but you know, we're just pretending. I have a hot date and I'm gonna put on my ponytail, got my cute little dress, I'm about to get started. So, on my imaginary date night, this is what we're gonna start off with. First, the continuous mist water spray bottle. So this, preferably fill this up with um, alkaline water, filtered um, spring water, just something that is not, don't just go to the sink. All right, so make sure that this is some good water for your hair, not tap. We are going to, step one, we're going to wet all of this because when you have short hair, you gotta kinda mold it into the shape that you wanna see, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have to wet it, and then we're gonna set it into a slick back for our ponytail. What's great about this is that you don't have to press on the button so much. It is a continuous mist. We're gonna be here a while because I gotta wet the whole thing, so. You'll be able to find this and everything that we talk about in the accessories portion on the website. All right, 15 years later, we have Supreme Moisturization. Next up, if we weren't going straight into brushing, let's say I just wanted to like do my makeup or something or do some touch-ups at this point, I can throw on the microfiber hair towel. So this is not just like regular microfiber, this is like luxurious softness. It feels like a brand new stuffed toy, like a stuffed animal toy that you would put in like a baby bassinet. It's very soft. I've got short hair, but if you have long hair, um, you just kind of plop your hair into the little hair bassinet, if you will. So you plop it down. Put the button end in the back. And then you tighten the front to your forehead just to make sure none of the hair comes out the front. Twist it. Grab this little loop that you're going to hook on the button in the back. You all ready for your spotty. It also comes in white, so you can match your white robe if you like. The purple is my favorite color, so we're going with the purple. So we have our microfiber hair towel on, feeling like a baby's bottom. We're going to use the um, eyebrow and eyelash brush. We're just going to go through a pretend um, touch up, if you will, for makeup. So, my eyebrows are a little wild. I haven't done them in a while. It's quarantine, no judgment. So we're just gonna brush it out. So, brush them into a shape. Boy fit. This is also good for applying any like serums or oils if you wanna do that at night. Or if you have makeup, you can just brush through and separate lashes. This also comes in a set with the Brow Chicka Wow Wow. That is a like roller ball situation. So if you roll on that Brow Chicka Wow Wow, then you can kind of brush it through afterwards for your brows. Now we've done all of our glamming. Now it's time to brush through this hair so that we can get it into this ponytail. Let's try it. All right, so we're gonna take off our little towel and gets to brushing and detangling. All right, so now that we're going to do some detangling, we are going to bust out our brush set, brush and comb set. Here we have our detangling brush. This one is what I'm going to start off with just because my hair hasn't been detangled at all. What's great about this brush is that it is not a fixed, um, like hard back. 
Um, it is very flexible, so it's going to be more gentle on your curls. It won't tug as much, and when you run into knots and snares, it's gonna have more give and flexibility. So, less hair being pulled out, which is what we all want. So, starting from the bottoms, always starting from the bottom, as Drake suggested. Then we get to the top. See how like when it's going through, it's like pulling. Like the different um, pieces are kind of separating. It just makes it way more gentle. Easy peasy. And not that much hair. Loss, just a little. Perfect. Next, in the adventure to creating a ponytail. Um, we're going to kind of shape it. And I'm not gonna need this. Um, this is also a wide tooth comb. If you're doing any parting, if I were going to be doing maybe like a two ponytail situation, could be fun, but yeah, good for detangling also. Great for in the shower detangling um, and just general parts and things like that. Next, I probably won't need this as well. I might um, just to like get out any bumps and stuff when I'm creating my ponytail. This parting comb is also great for braids, um, just creating parts, any like easy sections. You can just kind of get the perfect part every time. This brush is a scalp massaging brush. Also great for, I'm gonna be using it to just kind of get the shape of my ponytail, like lifting my hair into that. Um, but this is great for massaging the scalp. You put some drops of the scalp oil in your hair and then just give yourself some brushes with this and it's very nice. The back is also flexible. I don't know if you can see that. So it's not just like a hard back brush. It has the same properties as the detangling brush that's very flexible. Um, it's not going to be as harsh um, and tug as hardly on your hair. All right, so we're gonna start with those and just get the shape. Also, in order to help keep the shape, we're gonna be using the grill glaze today. And um, I'll try to show you my <laughs> mediocre baby hair talents. We're going to be using the baby hair brush to just give myself some swoops in the front. Step one, we're going to apply some of the grow glaze and um, start brushing my hair into a shape of a ponytail. So I just like to coat the front and the sides and the back just to begin with so that as I'm brushing it, it's just already keeping that shape. Alright, then we're just gonna start pulling it up because I like my pony to be high. And just to get that shape, you have to like mold your hair into that upward direction. I'll also note that my hair is very short in the back, so the girl glaze is good at like just starting to hold some of those shorter hairs up. Because we ain't trying to have them all flapping around in the back. That's not cute. Not the bang. Are you ready for that thing? Bam. Bam. Ready for that thing. Ready for that. All right. So typically, if I was not going to be doing a ponytail where you have to wrap it around the base of the ponytail, I would use a satin ponytail. So sometimes I'll do like a half up, half down just for fun where I'm not attaching a ponytail. That would be a scenario where this is just much better, much softer on your hair. It's not going to be pulling as much, um, tugging or breaking any hairs. That's what I would use in like a normal situation. But since I have to wrap a ponytail around this thing, it's gotta be slim, slim thug. So I wrap three times. And here we have our, our little pony. My little pony. This one actually is from Insert Name Here. So this is just a fun, just something to spice up your hair days with something easy. I've been wearing ponies a lot during quarantine just to like change up my look, but not have to like work that hard at it. All right, so stick 
get on the ponytail already. You wrap it around, bring it around town, and then you bobby pin it in. That's secured in there. Just get these little sides. And the ponytail that's inside, I usually bobby pin that down too because my hair, my own hair texture is different than the ponytail. And I don't want it winding out back there. So she doesn't pop up later with some questions. That nobody asked. Alright, so we're in there. Got our little pony action going. Got a little fuzzy. Now for the baby hairs. Now, most of my baby hairs are just kind of like here and here. Some people be having them like whole designs. Someday I'll learn that. I would love to have a whole tapestry on my forehead. But for now, we just go and hit the sides. What I like to do is I put some just on the brush, like I load up the brush with the gel, and I just pull, pull and swoop. Kind of just mold it with my fingers. I usually do two or three. Sometimes I'll be doing this little side one. I call her my Ashanti. Same thing. My my like hair is different on this side though. My baby hairs are like a little different. So sometimes this it's it looks different, but that's fine. Different sides of your of your head. Different sides of your head are sisters, not twins. So these baby hairs are a little thinner, more wispy on this side. And if you have any hairs kind of coming down, brush those back up with the gel. And I'll throw a pin in there also. All right, we are ponied up and ready for Netflix at home or an Instagram photo or whatever it is that you want to do because it's your world, but just stay safe. All right, so we've used all of these lovely products. Again, they're all in the accessories section of the website. Detangling brushes, white tooth and parting comb, and our lovely baby hair brush as well as all the other things that you saw today. This one for eyebrows and lashes. And this is like an everyday staple. I'm always refreshing my hair with um, some fresh water. You can't forget the towels. I hope that you guys enjoyed this demonstration of all of the hot new products on Organic Grow Hair Co. Check out the accessories section on the website and go out there and have a great hair day. I hope I see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe if you liked what you saw so you can come back and see more videos with us. Hit that bell button so that you can be notified when we come up with our next video. And comment below if you have any comments or suggestions on other things that you'd like to see us talk about. As always, we're rooting for you. See you in the next one. Happy growing!